So, I'm about to talk about black folk economics, group economics, and where it started, where it came from. I can't guarantee y'all this video is going to be short, but I'm going to try, all right? Because I'm starting back when they quote unquote freed the slaves. My ancestors, when they so called freed us. We'll talk about those quotations here in a minute. So they let us go. And we can come out with songs talking about starting from the bottom. But black folk freed slaves that were fresh. I mean, like, here, go. That's starting from the bottom. The very bottom. We had nothing. It's not like they gave us cars. Like, here, here's your couple cars. I'm going to walk into some bullshit. You know, here's some horses. Y'all can ride these. See how that works out for you. You know, I saw a couple of y'all sneaking, learning how to read and shit. So, y'all should be all right. So, y'all just, just go ahead. So now we walking with children and everything. Any type of illnesses we might have had there, we just walking. Trying to find somewhere where white people didn't hate us. Because by then they hated us for no real reason. If you really think about it, there was no real reason to hate black people. Especially after we were freed. Like, once we free, like what... What's the hate now? You you not you can't oppress me. I'm not working for you. What the fuck do you still hate me for? Why am I still having to run for my life? For no reason. Well, here we are walking. Trying to find somewhere we can go and that, that hasn't been overtaken already. That is, is owned already. Because, again, y'all, they had a, about a 400-year head start here. So, you know, most everything was already them. Nah, uh-uh. Get away from here. I don't, y'all go ahead now with the bullshit. Got guns and shit. Y'all know nothing about this. Because they didn't give us none of them either. <laughs> we just out there. That's starting from the bottom. We did that. We started from the bottom. Found places we could go. Without being completely harassed. We stuck together. And the thing about, you know, group economics then was that you really didn't have a choice. And if you think about how crazy it is that we actually had to build our areas, started from the bottom, no caterpillars, no, you know, no, you know, I guess what would be the technology level that they had then to help make jobs easier. We didn't have any of that. We started from the bottom. That's why I don't know how anybody could argue against the fact that black folk built this country. That was us starting from the bottom. We still built businesses from the ground up. Tall, from the ground up. Black Wall Street, from the ground up. And you didn't have no choice but to buy black. Then it wasn't like someone had to come out and tell you, okay, buy black. Here's a black person selling it. Buy this, support this, support them. You had no choice. You weren't about to go into town where they was and buy some of their eggs. No. You can buy get your tools from them? Your hammer? No. Either you built it or you bought it from your own people. That's how it was. But this is why I put freed in quotations. Because once they saw we was making money, wasn't bothering nobody. Black Wall Street burnt to the ground because some white lady claimed a black boy and tried to rape her. How classic is that story? Which is one of the main reasons that black mothers started telling their sons, stay away from them white girls. They was trying to protect their sons. Because they knew if their sons fucked with them white girls, her daddy and his homies might hang her son. That was protection from them. That's how that shit started. You say that, they come into Tulsa. Burn it down. Because we was doing that good. And all they had to do was lie on us to give them an excuse to come in there and fuck with our shit. And we wasn't bothering us so. Who burns down a city over some white girl saying somebody tried to rape her? That's what they were able to do. Bombed on us from the sky. On U.S. soil, we're supposed to be freed and, you know, we equal. They bombed on us from the sky. Had the story been some white boy that came and tried to rape a black girl, 
They had the numbers and the equipment. The best we could have done was caught him out there slipping, run up in there, fuck some white people up, you know. But burning down an entire prosperous area against the people was some bullshit. The fact that it's not talked about in the history books like it's not history is some bullshit because it's real. They freed us to a certain extent. Bombed on our areas. And like, all right, well, it's over. It's cool now. We feel it's even. Call, we, call, we call it even now. But we burnt down your whole block. She's not raped. Someone just tried, but you know, we burnt down y'all shit. Y'all cool now. Just start over and shit. Try to do something else. We need to make money quickly. They already had the businesses. They start letting us come in. Paying us a bullshit ass wage. Treating us like shit. But they know we needed the job. We've been slaves to a job being hired by the white man for that long. And when I say this, some people don't understand it. We've been slaves for that long. To our jobs. Get out of pocket, nigga. Get out of pocket. Look at me in a way I don't like. Disrespect me. You fired. Now you don't even got the couple of dollars I was giving you. Doing twice the work. Being discriminated against. Having to drop our heads. That's how we worked. For them. Because they didn't want us to have our own shit right there. And then what the, the, the weird shit we did. Which is still one of the things that we've done in history that I fully can't wrap my head around. That white acceptance that we had to have. Where we sacrificed any type of businesses that we had. Any type of leagues that we had. We sacrificed them. To play. Or be a part of. Or be paid off by them. We had Negro Leagues and shit. Like it didn't, you know, didn't matter at that point. At that point, we were so conditioned that white is better. If we can just get them to accept us because we spent all of our time trying to get white folk to like us enough not to kill us. Not just like us on a surface level. We had to get white folk not to, to you know, not hate us in a way or felt disrespected by us in a way to where they wouldn't full blown out kill us. We had to be very proper, uncomfortably proper. We couldn't relax to not be killed. Not like, oh man, that motherfucker in a bad mood. That's the best you can do today. Somebody acting like an asshole, I oh, ain't in a bad mood. Let a black person act like an asshole and not, you know, smile hard as they fucking can every time they see a white person. And then, you know, that's looked at as a problem. And you might get killed for that. On our best behavior. And then we do a weird thing where, well, we decide we have to really, you know, we're still on the campaign of being accepted by white folk. For them to tell us that, well, you know, y'all aren't that bad. You know, the whole time, you know, we was trying to convince racist people that we aren't that bad. That's what we spent a lot of time doing. We aren't that bad. We just as good as you are. Our mentality was fucked up at that point. Because as a people, not only are we just as good, we do this shit better than you do. We had our own basketball leagues. We jump higher than you do. Our capacity for athletic sports in that fashion, higher than yours. This is in whatever they let us into to even, you know, fuck with like that. We could have kept our own, but we had to be included. Black folks stay selling out for money. A little bit more money. This is another one of the problems that we have. And I, I don't even say a little bit more money. It could even be a large amount of money. Let's take me for example. Let's say I'm making a million dollars a year off of a black business. Right? White man comes and offer me 
50 million dollars for my business as I would say not the smartest thing where people will feel like well shit nigga I'm making 1 million a year they gonna give me 50 right now I'm gonna take the 50 that fast quick big amount of money that's what we into that's what we did to ourselves trying to get it quick not thinking about well He's still writing the check. He still wrote it. We could have stayed over here to ourselves. They would have came and watched us. They wouldn't have had no choice. Because we wasn't expressing hate towards white people like they were against black people. Just full all out killing. We could have kept our own leagues. They would have brought their money over there. We would have took their money. We could have built off that. They would have come and wanted to play with us. We gave in. Just to get the notoriety. To be put on TV. To be known for that money. And we should have held on. Because if I'm making a million, I'm good with my million. And if you come and offer me 50 million, it must really be worth something. I really must need to keep it now. Because apparently if you're trying to buy it out, then it threatens you. It threatens whatever you got. So I'm going to keep mine. I'm going to keep ours. That's what it should have stayed like. But it didn't. We had to be included. Everything we had. And, and then even when we were and then they let us in, you know, they still hated us. For no fucking reason. Mind you, the hate comes from nowhere. You done hung us like you wanted to. You done beat us in the streets like you wanted to. We were slaves for you for hundreds of years. What the fuck do you hate us for? It doesn't even make sense. But they still do. And we stay in because we still want to be accepted. They start cheering for us. And we were okay with that. We're bringing the black people. Now, mind you, once we gave up our, you know, leagues... To play with them. Oh well these. This is owned by white folk already. We brought yours into them. They own it. They sitting at the top. We playing on the court. Look at them go. Thoroughbred huh. They would say shit like this about us. We gave up all of our black businesses to be involved. Even after we saw the threat of what having our own black businesses were. No one makes us worship you know, the things that the white people own, Tommy Hill figures. and all. No one makes us do that. That's something that we have in our mind. White people set the standard. If it's going to be high quality, if it's going to have a, a give you a status by putting it on, then it has to be by white folks. I mean, we had a little spell with FUBU real quick. We went through that for a second <laughs> with the, the jersey with the 05 on it. For you, by you. Big, 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 big acronym. We had it for a little while. Come off with somebody some more money, they sell it out. It will be sold out. We the black people will just stop supporting it. Cause Gucci, he's special. You know, <laughs> he's special. We don't have faith in our own people. And the black folk that get those, these big checks from these white people, they give them right back to them anyway. I mean, we we, we really aren't giving ourselves any type of of power by not supporting each other like everybody else does I mean everybody else does this it wouldn't be like we were doing some fucked up shit this is the way it works it's been proven to work this way why not do it the way that has been proven to work and this is the question some black people will have well, why don't I mean black people are stupid as fuck why don't they just do it this way it makes more sense this way it's a lot of conditioning we have to break down. A lot of parents we have to reach. Because this mentality is passed on. A child doesn't come out, you know, with this mentality. This is passed down. That we don't support black businesses. And we got to be better about that. If we ever going to feel like we, we need to win. If we're going to win. If we're going to be able to, to compete in this game. Again, they had a 400 year head start. They established everything around you. 
everything to buy land you gotta pay a white man that's reality to even put your business on to get those business loans because they didn't give us loans it's not like they were giving us loans like all right well shit you know come in here let me give you a shot let's see what you can build no started from the bottom and made it ours and we should have kept it and the fact that we didn't keep it the fact that we are a threat every time we try to get together and build it should let us know something they didn't want us to keep that to ourselves they didn't want us to have that for ourselves for a reason to have it scattered like, like, like we are right now focused on the wrong shit doing the wrong shit and we don't support each other we don't trust each other because white has to be better Asian has to be better that's just how we are that's how we've been programmed to believe and think we had our own they came and got it we can get it back we can get it back but we just gotta work together and stand strong and even though if you buy the land it's gonna be owned by them even if you buy it from them you still that they came up with property tax like when I'm telling you the advantage that they've had it, it, it to, for them to ignore it pisses me off because look at what you were able to do we have to buy land from you you didn't give us land for being fucked up to us you came up with all these you know, little bills and taxes and he came up with all his ways to chip at us anyway. We already didn't have anything. We were starting from the bottom. So it wouldn't affect you to have to pay that tax. Because you already got money passed down your lineage. Then once we're able to start getting our own, we sell the fuck out. We got to stop selling out. We got to protect our own shit. We got to invest in our own shit. We got to invest in our own people. That's just how it is. Everybody else is doing it. If you don't believe me, look. Just take a look. Just take a, a glimpse at it. And this is something we can all be better about. Myself included. Supporting black businesses. Seeing a black person having a product and actually giving it a chance. We can all be better about that. That's all the fuck I wanted to say. Y'all comment if you feel need to comment. I'll be talking about this some more, I'm sure, um, and other points on other videos because, you know, this, this is big. I mean, when you look at how everything's been done, everything's been set up, it's huge. It's huge. And that's why black people should be proud. Should be proud. Because we've done great things with against odds that were, you know, I mean, nothing. Nothing. And we got to get back to that. We gotta get back to community. I know racism played a big part in us being a community, but we need to act like we still getting fucking chased down with dogs and beaten and, and, and lynched. We need to act like we are, because we still getting in a little, we getting in some uh, you know in a kind of a on the low style. They still killing black folk. It's not at the level, but we need to act like it. We need to act like it, because that kept us together. That was some glue for us. And once they made it, like whoa, come on in here, you know calm you guys down we took that and we got real calm and real complacent I'm gonna leave y'all alone now for real <laughs> that's all the fuck I wanted to say I'm out